One of my favorite types of gore art is the kind that features all of the gross innards that we as living things on this earth have. Today I'm going to talk about how to draw guts and organs so they look convincing. I'm not necessarily going for photorealism here since that's not really what I do, but the end goal is to be able to draw something that is recognizable as a gut. Before we start, here's my disclaimer. I am going to show photos of real innards, mostly animal guts and a few medical illustrations for the human system, so if that's going to be too much for you, this is your chance to click away, or you can skip to the reference study, which is just my final drawing, where I apply everything that we'll learn. Alright, disclaimer over, let's look at some guts. Here we have some intestines, let's just start by noticing texture. They're smooth. I've never touched guts like this before, but I, if I had to venture to explain what they feel like, I'd imagine they almost feel similar to like a chicken breast, although intestines would have way less structure since they are hollow. So what does this mean? This means that your highlights will be very solid rather than using an airbrush. Um, a solid pen brush would create much more of an accurate highlight. What else do we see? We see veins. There are veins visible along the surface, so adding veins to your gore art can add to the effect. Next, if I take an eyedropper to the organ itself, we can see that the color isn't really red as much as an orange. This is true with blood and guts. When you begin mixing your color, start with an orange. It'll give a better tone. Heck, I bet that's why chocolate sauce worked so well as fake blood in old movies. I mentioned the veins just a second ago, and since we're talking about color, I feel it's also good to mention that while orange is the base color for the organ, blue or purple would be a good color for the veins. Blue is good um, for contrast, since they're complementary, and purple is good if you want that contrast, but it, you, you want to pull it back and make it a little bit more subtle. If we look at this diagram of the human intestinal tract, we can see that some of the organs are totally smooth, while others are, are more bumpy. Playing around with the shape of the organs can really indicate how bad the wound is. The more variety of the organ shapes, the worse the wound is, since more organs spilled out, I guess. Now that we've looked at some organs, I'm going to apply the information that we've gathered. Pinata here will help me with that. I'm going to draw his organs all over the place, but don't worry, I'll put them right back. I started by taking a low opacity brush at the width of the intestines I wanted to draw, and I drew out a guide to where everything would be placed. Then, I sketched over it to get a sense of the depth of each organ and notice how there's a variety of shapes. Some are smooth, some are bumpy, and some have that sectioned look that we saw in the medical diagram. Having a variety gives visual interest. I lined it all and colored using that mid-saturated dark orange, just like we talked about before. It looks pretty okay as is, but I wanted to make it seem covered in blood and give it some extra detail. I added a more red color blood to match Pinata's style and to give some color variants. It's still orange, but it's a little bit, it's a little bit more red. I added it all over without putting a lot of thought into it, although most of the red lays where gravity would pull the blood. I added that solid highlight that I mentioned previously and some veins, and I used dark blue at a low opacity for that. Just like that, Pinata has guts hanging out and he looks much worse than he did before. Hope you were able to learn something from this video today. With Halloween coming up pretty soon, it seemed like a good time to cover this info. Let me know if you publish any gnarly looking gore art. I love to see what people come up with. I've got to finish cleaning this up, so I'm going to sign off here. I'll see you next time, and until then, have a great week!